everyone, welcome back to another video. And today is August the 27th of 2024, and it's a Tuesday, and I am at a new location. Okay? And that's coming up right after this. Hi, everyone. Back to traveling with Justin. I am Justin, and yes, today I'll be in a new place here on my tour of Utah series. And this place is let's see here. All right, so if you haven't guessed it yet, we are here in Manti, Utah. Yeah, it's just a little small city here in Utah. And so, why am I here in Manti? Well, it's part of my tour of Utah series, and so I thought I would just show you what Manti is all about. This is Main Street right here. There's Charlie's, that's a good place to eat. The Ute tribe that lived here at the time, they asked, the chief asked Brigham Young if he would send some Mormon pioneers down here to teach the Ute Indian tribe how to successfully farm. And so Brigham Young, of course, said, yes, we'll send some people down. And so in 1849, the city was founded. And it was founded by George Washington Bradley and Isaac Morley. And then in 1851, it was incorporated. And so the city of Manti, it came from the Book of Mormon. Um, it was a city in the Book of Mormon. So yes, that's what most of the cities here in Utah are named, is from the Book of Mormon. And so it's got a total of 3.15 square miles. And it sits at the elevation of 5,611 feet. And there's a population of 3,400 people. So approximately of 3,429 people here in Manti. So yeah, it is a little bit smaller city. It is actually way smaller than Heber and Payson. So yeah, so Manti, there is a few places to eat, eat out. You know, Charlie's is back there. And then the Miller drive-in is up here. And here is this pizza place, Main Street Pizza. And so, they, they have some good places to eat here in Manti. And so Manti, when the Mormon pioneers came down and settled here in this area, they had some issues with some of the local Indians. Okay. The Barkars War. Okay. There was lots of raids by the Native Americans on, on the Mormon pioneer um, outpost they had in central and southern Utah. Um, this actually ended in the mid-1850s. And after that was ended, the chief at the time, he witnessed a whole bunch of his tribe get baptized into the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And then the Utah Black Hawk War. So that issue started in 1865, and that was between a Manti resident and a young Native American. And that exploded into open warfare. There was forts built, actually it was a fort built right here on this property. This is the San Pete County Courthouse. And yeah, there was a fort built here. They took houses and built walls and they had um, watchtowers on all four corners. And there were several other forts built here in the Manti area. Then in 1867, Chief Black Hawk made peace with the settlers. However, there was still some spotty violence that still happened around here. Underlying issues were never resolved. But in 1872, um, they brought in federal troops. They took the rest of the Native Americans and they took it out to the um, Uinta and Cory Indian Reservation. When the settlers came down here to Manti to, um, you know, settle the valley and things like that and work with the Native Americans, they had come in November. Not sure why he would come down to Manti in November because winters were pretty harsh back then and 
That year was no different. They encountered a severe winter storm here in Manti. And in order to survive that winter, right here, this is where the um, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints Temple sits. It sits on top of this hill. So the settlers right there dug into the side of that hill to survive the winter. So yeah, that provided them shelter for that severe winter they had. All right, so one year we came down to the Mormon miracle pageant that was held here in Manti, right here on this hill. There was about, you know, 15,000 people here and they had to bring in extra law enforcement. It was towards the end of the um, time that the Mormon miracle pageant ran and they had to bring in some more law enforcement like the Utah Highway Patrol and stuff like that and they had to put them over there on the road due to the fact that there was a whole bunch of protesters out and about and they were protesting of course the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and um, things like that so I was talking to one of the officers and he apologized to me about how we have to deal with these people. And I was like, well, you're the ones dealing with them. <laughs> and he laughed. Hi, Utah. You might be thinking, Justin, is there anything to do in Manti? Well, there is stuff to do in Manti. Besides, you have access to the great outdoors. You have mountains. You have just a lot of open space you can go and explore. In the city of Manti, they don't really have that much for things to do. They do have a city park. Um, they have the Manti Temple. And you can go to the Pioneer Heritage Gardens and take a look at that. Um, Manti does have a lot of Mormon history in it because it was founded by Mormon pioneers, of course. And if you ever have to go to the Stampede Courthouse, it's, it's right here in Manti, so that's always a good thing. They have Miller's, they have a pizza place, and they have Charlie's. They have several other restaurants in here as well. Those are just the ones that stood out to me here. And yeah, I just ate at Miller's um, for my carnivore diet. That is over on my Just Justin channel. I can put the link down below. Um, if you want to, you can go check that out. But yeah, Manti is just, it's a nice small town, okay? And... It's, yeah, I'm sitting right here on Main Street. Of course, it's windy today and it's busy. The traffic is busy out there. But Manti, yeah, it's just a nice little small community here in, in um, the rural part of Utah in, down in San Pete County. It's about um, an hour and 20 minutes, I would say about maybe an hour and 45 minutes from Provo, Utah. Um, yeah, it's just located right down here in the nestle i mean it's really super nice down here if you ever find yourself in manti you know take a moment to stop and just look around and see what manti has to offer for you yes yeah, it's it's not like a big town or anything like that it doesn't have best buys and i haven't even seen a walmart i think there's a walmart view from i'm not 100 sure um but yeah it, it's just a nice small town all right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Manti, Utah, as I continue my tour of Utah series. And I would love it if you would hit that like button, you know, give it a thumbs up. If you found this um, information useful and informational about Manti, Utah here in Utah. All right, and also I would love for you to hit that subscribe button because I'm going to continue my series on the tour of Utah. And... I'm going to continue my temple series as well for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And of course, I'm going to do some travel adventures. I have one, I have a couple trips coming up here still in 2024. So if you hit subscribe and that bell notifications, you'll be notified of when I go on those trips. And I'm trying to talk my wife into going on some more next year. But all right, so I would love you if you guys would follow me and also you can go down in the description. I have a link over to the blog post here about Manti. If you want to go check that out, you can find some more information over there. And you get some pictures and things like that 
here for the city of Manti as well. And you can also check out my blog on Traveling with Justin. Just remember, that is a work in progress, okay? That is a work in progress, okay? All right, guys, I appreciate you guys all for sticking around till the end, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.